What is up, YouTube? HPJ here, and I'm coming at you guys because we have the other Awakening the Possessed Monsters. So, it was probably going to happen. They were going to be within the next set and not within the structure deck for the Familiar Possessed Charmer uh, structure deck, which sucks because you will have to get them from the structure deck, but this is Konami fashion where, of course, they would put the monsters in the structure deck. Now, um, just to clarify what's going on, uh, this is where we stand. We have um, both water and wind coming to us. And water and wind, ironically enough, are just water and wind um, when it comes to a lot of things. So, actually, let's take a look at the two monsters themselves. Um, this is the artwork. Very amazing artwork, I have to say. This is really just enhancing the thrill of the artwork that is the Charmers and the Familiar Possessed. It's actually because we have the alternate arts, we have the um, newer editions of the monsters. Like this archetype, like we said, this has been here since Enemies of Justice. And it's just crazy how much support uh, they have been getting over the years. Very little support here and there. Like I said, I think the only thing that this archetype needs is the sequential boss monster that treats itself as all attributes, and it has a lot of beneficial effects attached to it because it treats itself as all those attributes. Only time can tell. Now, let's take a full look at each of these monsters. Starting off with um, Awakening the Awakening of the Possessed Giga God Gigo Bite. It is a level five. Water attribute red tile effect monster, 2,000 attack, 200 defense. You can only use the, each of the effects among the second and third effect with this card's name only once per turn. Uh, when this card is you can set some of this card from your hand or deck by saving one face of a monster you control and one level four or lower water monster you control to the graveyard. Uh, when this card says summon by by the way, written in its first effect, uh, you send one random card from your feet, from your opponent's hand to the graveyard. Then each player draws one card. When this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add one spiritual water card or one one possessed spell or trap card from your deck to your hand. The next monster is Awakening the Possessed Rasen Ryu, level five when actually dragon type effect monster. 2000 attack, 200 defense. You only use each of the among, each effect among the first and second effect of this card's name only once per turn. Like you set some of this card from your hand or deck by sending one face of spellcaster monster you control and one level four or lower wind monster you control to the graveyard. When this card is special summoned by ways when in its first effect, you can return one wind attribute monster. You can return one card your opponent controls to the hand. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you add one spiritual wind art or one possess spell or trap card from your deck to your hand. So just like Awakening Possess Anari Fire and Awakening Possess Arch Feet Eater of Nefariousness, both of the uh all four of these monsters sequentially have their effect where you set summon it from the deck or hand by sending a spellcaster and a monster their respective attributes that's level four or lower to the graveyard. And then they have their own corresponding effects which each of them do resemble the um, effects of their spiritual water art. I mean their spiritual art card. So for um, Giga Gigobite we have um, IOA which is the uh, look at your opponent's Take one card from your opponent's hand and send it to the graveyard. Then you have Ran Ryu, who is using Miyabi, the spiritual wind arts of that, to target one card your opponent controls and return it back to them. Uh, instead of going to the bottom of the deck, it is going to the hand. So it's kind of just one of those things where it's, up, where it's like we see these coming when it comes to specific attributes when in the game. Water, of course, is. Um, this card, while you have wind, that is return to hand. Fire inflicts burn, and earth is the special summon. Uh, kind of also resemblance of, well, in terms of wind, it's very weird, because most wind cards do get the return um, to the deck, while, unfortunately, the effects of 
they do uh, they do concur with uh, when does heavily resist our back row or returning to hand, while water simply is just hand manipulation. Uh, fire is damage inflicting, and then earth is either way the special sign. Uh, when it comes to the charmers, I think for most archetypes, yeah, this does apply to them as well, just based off of the things that they have together. Um, I, overall and personally, think that this is great that we get the other two cards. Um, most of these guys are not, let's be real, I would doubt we're going to ever use the effect of the cards to go and look for um, the spiritual art cards. I'm, I think the only ones that if they were to look at them would probably be spiritual earth and spiritual fire just because it's you know, extensions and it, um, inflicting damage. I honestly do think that at a point that I love what is the fact that we're finally getting these things. Um, it's just, I don't know. At, like I said, I think honestly the R-Type needs a boss monster. It does. It needs its own relatively solid put together boss monster. And then things can go from there. Unfortunately, we kind of don't have that yet, and it would be nice um, if we did get that. But we're not going to hold ourselves to it, and we're not going to just you know, beat around the bush either. But yeah, I, I think this is a great you know inter, you know inclusion, and it's just like typical Yu-Gi-Oh fashion where we're not going to put such and such in the structure, guys. No, we're gonna, put it into the main series, so you guys have to go buy multiple hoodies, or get multiple hoodies. Probably be real cheap when they come to the TCG. This is, I don't think the Charmer Shutter Deck is going to be like Shadal. It's not going to pop off. Um, it's not going to be like Machina, where it can splash itself and then be tier, which is funny enough. But, yeah, it's a lot still going for it. Um, I know a lot of people are very excited about it. And I hope you guys are excited about it as well. So, let me know in the comment section, what do you guys think about the release of the le of these two uh, spiritual art monsters? Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you guys can be informed of when I do upload more content. Thanks, everybody, for watching. HDJ, signing out. Take care.